right, so here today we're talking about how to control your device with orifices. So your orifices are gonna control your flow rate. We've already talked about the overview of this whole system, but we'll run through it quick. This is a coreless engine. This is our demonstration unit, just to make it visual on how the changes in flow rate can be seen. We've done it by changing the needle valve so far, but maybe you're designing a device and you don't want somebody to always have to change a needle valve or go in there and tweak it. You just want to assemble the system and you always want it to run at the correct speed. So that's when you want an orifice. So let's just see the system run here. First of all, give it a start. You can see it's running slow. And then as we open up this orifice, you can see it runs faster. But like I said, if you have to produce a lot of devices, if you're in mass production of something, you don't want to have somebody adjust something all the time. You want to just put a product in there that's going to give you the right flow rate. So that's what we're going to do here. So let's turn this back off. I'm going to reach over and put an orifice in place. And you're going to see that it's going to work the same as having a needle valve. I got three different sizes here. We're going to start with the small one. Okay, everything's hooked up the same here. This is a 25 thousandths orifice. This is our slow speed here. And now, if you were designing this device and you always wanted it to run this speed, all you'd have to do is have somebody put that device in there, assemble it this, this way, and then you know that every time you make this device, it's running this correct speed. So we're gonna take a quick uh, tachometer reading here and just see how fast this one's running. Because of course, if you're designing something, you're gonna, you're gonna know what you want your output to be, whether that's a, a coffee maker or a ventilator or whatever the device is. So this one's running at about 40 RPM right now. So let's just pretend that's not fast enough for you. So let's try a little bit of a faster speed. Turn this back on. All right, now we're cooking. Definitely going a little bit faster here. Let's get a reading on the tack. Okay, we're up to 63 RPMs. Back in the day, if this was a, a real coreless engine, it'd be running at about 100 RPMs. So I'm gonna say we're not quite fast enough yet. So let's bump it up one more orifice size. All of these orifice sizes are standard orifice sizes. But we also have customers who will tell us what flow rate they need and we'll custom design people's orifices for them too if they want some in-between size. All right, now it's going. We're making some power. Let's see what we got. Let's get a good reading. Just over 100 RPM, awesome. So that is in spec for this engine. This model coreless engine is running exactly where we need it to be. That's the basic of controlling the flow rate of your system using an orifice. I'm John Hayden at AirLogic. If you got any questions, please reach out.